Well, she may not be the betting favorite here tonight, but there are a lot of people out there that believe this number one Bantamweight contender is the best 135-pound fighter on the planet. And at long last, she gets a chance to prove it. She has told us constantly, anytime you are within range of her voice, she will tell you, I'm the best, I'm the champ, get me an opportunity. She gets that opportunity. And she has lived this week as if she believes everything that she says. She has been sure. She has been confident. And that is all rooted in her preparation, which to everyone that knows has been tremendous. And both champion and challenger have a lot of skills, but this particular contender believes this is the best matchup for her in this top five. We'll see if she can dethrone the queen. Amanda Nunes steps inside the octagon and is ready to fight. Well, with respect to Amanda Nunes, you can argue that Valentina Shevchenko is the greatest women's mixed martial arts athlete of all time. And by the way, I know you've been checking out that career mode. How about Shevchenko moonlighting as a coach? I mean, if you're going to be coached by anyone, you want to be coached by this young lady right here. She has won everything that she has done. And look, you had the Performance Institute. Before you get your lunch, you pop in and you see the champ. Valentina Shevchenko has the mind of a champion, but she also has the skills that have allowed for her to distance herself from the UFC flyweight division. She's a phenomenal fighter, and I'm pretty sure she's a phenomenal coach. And man, has she put her small nation of Kyrgyzstan on the world map with all of her UFC success. Another big spot in a career full of them for Valentina Shevchenko here tonight. All right, now let's get to the tail of the tape for this women's bantamweight championship fight. All right, now for the official introductions, we go to the veteran voice of the octagon, Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Championship of the world. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, presenting the challenger, Amanda the Lioness Nunes. And now, introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed US. Champion of the world, Valentina Bullet Shevchenko. So Herb Dean, third man Ready, in there for this one. Ready. Ready. All right, so as we get this stand-up only fight underway, just a quick reminder on the rule set, no grappling or wrestling of any type, and fighters also cannot follow up with ground strikes on the canvas. So if you knock your opponent down, you cannot follow up with strikes. Very important to point that out here at the beginning of round one. And now Leather being thrown on both sides. Shevchenko gets caught by that straight punch. Can't take too many more of those. It won't take many of those. Continuing to go to the head. Nice body kick. Employed there by Shevchenko. Get him back, get him Caught that kick there. Straight right is there. Keep your hands up for me. Come on now. Let's move. Let's make it 
Well, the right hand has been there for her tonight at times. Not that time. Both fighters exchange in the pocket here. Oh, great block there. Lands a nasty body kick. Trying to set up that counterattack. So you stop it, I'm gonna keep kicking. Body kick after body kick. Just over two minutes to go in the round. Shevchenko gets hit with a kick. That one appeared to land flush. Oh, huge shot by her there. Probably her best strike of the fight. Her best strike, and you don't see this type of power normally in this weight class, but she lands, and she lands very effectively. Lands a nice leg kick. So 31 total strikes have now landed for Valentina Shevchenko. Trying to establish that jab once again. Well, you want to talk about a case of pick your poison. That is the reality when you fight Valentina Shevchenko. She's got to keep pressing if she wants to finish the fight. Shevchenko's uppercut, but that one is blocked. So now we see some bruising on that calf on the lead leg, DC. Well, she talked about it in the fighter meeting. She goes, we are going to beat her lead leg up. She's found a lot of success doing that to this point. Oh, 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 oh. Oh. Round two is next. Very good. Keep doing what you're doing. Stick to the striking. Stick to the game plan. You're hurting her to the bottom. All right, now we check out some of the action from that previous round, DC. How about the display of striking? Just high level. I mean, you would think that we're watching a K-1 level kickboxing match opposed to being in the UFC. Both displayed great technical skills, unbelievable striking. So five minutes down, here we go Ready with fight. the start of round two. Ready. Valentina Shevchenko versus Amanda Nunes. Nice punch by Valentina Shevchenko. All right, so as this next round gets underway, hopefully the good action we saw in the last round will continue. Both fighters certainly had their ups and downs. Both got the offense going. But now we'll see if one fighter or the other can really take control of what has been a very close fight thus far. Just out of range with the big right hand. Oh, nice. Well, she has done a lot of significant damage thus far, and a lot of it has been courtesy of her counter-striking. We show you the numbers there, bottom of your screen. She has landed moving forward. She has landed moving backward. Heady stuff out of this contender here tonight. Work, work, come on. Shevchenko's body getting all sorts of bruised up on that right side now. Oh, he's had a huge strike right there, DC. Great shot landed. Now she's got to go chase her down and get another one off the finish the fight. Oh! Oh, huge kick to the leg. Lands a big elbow there. Under three minutes now to go on the round. Well, she was a little bit hesitant in round one, but she has certainly picked up the pace here in this second round. It took her a while to find her range. She's in a strong striking rhythm now. She missed with that jab. Oh, nice jab to the head there by Newton. Big elbow there, Lance. Again. All right, so just as we saw in the previous round, she is realizing a lot of success with her kickboxing game tonight, and you can see the confidence growing with every strike landed. It's overwhelming for her opponent to be in there with her. Oh, her opponents are beautiful placement on that hook. What a great job of finding such a massive shot. Be able to block that strike. Nunez is limping. That would suggest that the leg... Another one! 
Well, she's able to get back up here, but man, look at how wobbly she is. Wow. Power shots landing on both sides. Shins continue to hold up. Watch for her to set up that hook again now. It's been a big weapon for her here tonight. Let's see if she goes back to it. Inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. I'd be knocked out. Her opponent's still standing. Yeah, she's still standing, but she's got to get on the bike, John. She's got to get out to the center of the octagon, find some space so that she can evade her opponent from finishing her. All right, so there's the horn indicating the end of the round, but not before damage was done. She was cut on her cheek from the strike in that round, and now the focus for the cut man shutting that thing and making sure it doesn't become a factor here moving forward. All right, so a huge moment for her in that previous round, DC, as we show you some of the highlights. The knockdown nearly closed the show for her. Yeah, and that's what we're going to focus on. We're going to focus on the knockdown because it looked like the fight was over. Now, is her opponent tough? Yes, but is her opponent smart enough to make the necessary Third adjustment fight. as this Ready. fight goes forward? Third round underway. Stay sharp. Stay sharp. Stay sharp. Stay sharp. Oh, huge connection player right there. Massive shot, man. How is she going to try to find the next shot that will finish the fight? Nicely done with the high oh. She's brought the bad, J.A. Oh. She did not take too many of those. Shevchenko's really limping heavily now. The leg kicks have started to pile up. Clearly, they're having the desired effect. Man, that kick looked like it hurt. Oh, hurt bad. Trying to hammer that lead leg. Oh, there it is again. Look at that. Back to the feet. Well, we could be looking at an epic comeback. Here she rocked her significantly, but wasn't able to finish the fight, and now her opponent maybe creeps back in. Her opponent will now try to find a way to work her way back into this fight. It will be on oh, oh, my goodness, she heard her again. Well, how impressive is this young woman? High volume of strikes in the previous round and picking up exactly where she left off here and not really showing any signs of slowing down. She looks like she could go 10 hard fives tonight if need be. That opened up a cut around her eye area. Got to shore up the defense. Yeah, she's got to move her head. She has not moved her head effectively, and now she's dealing with the cut. All right, so some adversity for her here. Looks like she has been opened up around that eye. Anything worth having will not be easy, but she's got to protect that cut because it will get worse if she continues to get hit on it. Oh, big punch land. Well, this is not at all the way she expected it to go, at least when it came to the striking. She got knocked down. Oh! Big leg kick. Oh, big elbow. Oh! oh, she continues to pour it on. She is landing at will, eternally aggressive with her striking, and she also has a pretty good gas tank, so she doesn't appear to be worried about that. Final seconds here. Potentially two more to go. We are headed to the championship rounds. Okay. All right, so there's the horn indicating the end of the round. We will keep an eye on this cut. You see the cut man racing in there. Cut, it looks like it's on the bridge of the nose. He'll try to shut that thing and prevent it from being a factor for her here moving forward. Looks like he'll close it up now. All right, she is all smiles as she makes her way back to the stool. DC, a lot of good action there in the previous round, particularly that head kick knockdown. Talk us through it. She's a really good striker. She does everything so technically on her feet. So you knew 
when you are watching her land so many strikes low, eventually she would go high, and she did, and got that big knockdown right, right. that really right. did determine this sure. round. Fourth round now, fight scheduled for five five-minute rounds. All right, so here we go. You can feel the tension. Fourth round is underway. We'll see who has the other hand. You feel it inside of the arena. The fighters feel it inside of the octagon. It's palpable. They're probably her best strike of the fight. Her best strike, and you don't see this type of power normally in this weight class, but she lands, and she lands very effectively. Oh, man, these are hard. Oh. Shevchenko gets touched by that kick there. Well, it is not the worst cut we've ever seen in the UFC, but a lot of blood donation happening right here, right now, as her opponent continues. Oh, she's hurt. Defense held up there as she blocks that shot. Three minutes to go. Great job landing that body kick. as this fighter down the stretch. She is really lighting her up now. She found her range in the... Oh! That, that'll do it! Oh, my goodness. Let's get it to Bruce Buffer now. He has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Deans called a stop to this contest at two minutes, 36 seconds of round number four. Declaring the winner by knockout and still the undisputed UFC bantamweight champion of the world, Valentina Bullet Shashenko. So the Krizikstan-born Valentina Shevchenko, your winner here tonight as she proves yet again that she might just be the best Bantamweight in the world. Not sure there's a woman.